Hello, this is Hamdi. Uh, today I'm going to be trying to talk about the static discharger rigs. And uh, all the time I travel with an aircraft, I, to, I try to observe things that happen on the wings, ailerons, flap tracks, the things that happen in the cabins. I try to listen to the engine up noise. I most of the time choose my seat at, at the window side. And I have also good view. And uh, last time I just had a close look at the little things attached on the winglets, like uh, I, uh, also ailerons and flap tracks. You can also see them on vertical and horizontal stabilizer. Well, it looks like little antennas, but they are not antennas. They are not used for uh, radio communication or navigation equipment. They are not using. They are not used to transmit these signals for uh, navigation and radio communication reasons. They have a different function. So uh, after wondering what the function of these little things attached on the wingless ailerons and the other parts, uh, I just had a, a short uh, Google operation and, and come up with some information. I just try to, I will try to explain them. So I drove on a wing and with ailerons, flat tracks, and winglets. They are attached on the winglets and ailerons and flat track. I also made a big picture to have a close look to these uh, static rigs. They have a different variation, depends on the aircraft. You, you might say different one on system 172, you might see a different one also. Uh, Airbus 320, Boeing 737, it might be different. It depends on the aircraft, so you can search about it. The function of these uh, static discharger, you can also have an idea from its name, static discharger is discharges static electricity caused by the friction of air on the fuselage of an aircraft. If you try to explain it to be this picture, this Airbus uh, 320, when the aircraft flies through the air, the air flowing through the fuselage of an aircraft creates a static electricity on the body of an aircraft. So it has to be discharged and released from the aircraft, from the discharge point of the aircraft, like winglets, flaps, flap tracks, ailerons, maybe horizontal and vertical stabilizer. What if we don't have these static discharge rigs? With the static electricity, the electrons uh, will be trying to uh, travel the body of the aircraft and if they have a tendency to jump on the sharp points of the part of the aircraft like antennas, like navigation and radio communication equipment and devices. So that's a bad thing because it will create a, it will it will create a corona by the by the accumulation of electrons so that will cause and interfere so that's a bad thing for an aircraft to have a safer flight so we want we don't want this situation to happen so we have this static discharge rigs to release the electrons and the, the static electricity from the body of an aircraft so the main reason is to have same level charge on an entire aircraft to have a safety flight to stop and block this interfere on the radio communication and navigation systems. That's the reason. Thank you for watching.